Iraq and the Middle East. They kill, hurt, and kidnap innocent people if they don't believe in their radical Islamic practices. This is why I am supporting going to war with ISIS. ISIS kidnaps people of all ages and religions. They even kidnap some people because of their jobs. Stephen Sotloff was an American Israeli journalist that was kidnapped in August of 2013. He was held hostage until he was decapitated on September 2nd, 2014. ISIS pretty much posted the video like for all his friends and family to see on the internet. Uh, when children are kidnapped, they are taught Islamic religion according to ISIS, which is not really true Islamic religion. Um, most kids are too young to know what's right or wrong. A boy no older than 12 was shown in a video shooting an Israeli Arab man in the head. When ISIS holds women in, in hostage, they rape them and use them as sex slaves. ISIS will kill anyone that doesn't believe in their beliefs. A good portion of the Middle East believes in the peaceful ways of the Islamic religion as it should be, and ISIS spreads into more areas. As ISIS spreads into more areas, people will be killed in a longer ISIS threat in the Middle East and across the world. It will continue to grow and become dangerous to the United States. troops on the ground to fight ISIS. One negative reason of doing this is if ISIS is to leave the area, this could cause a geographical war. We may ISIS retreat and they retreat to Central Asia. It may cause other countries in that area to join in on the war, which will then cause a geographical war. The second problem with sending troops over to fight ISIS is that ISIS uses bombers, well suicide bombers, which are human beings with bombs trapped to their chest. Let's say that our troops find an ISIS camp or training site, then our troops get the man to attack and capture the camp. Then it turns out to be where suicide bombers are getting ready to attack. Suicide bombers will blow up and kill our squad that was attacking. There goes a, loving, a member of a loving family. Then that family will be living incomplete for the rest of their lives. The troops who are serving now or deployed will not have a choice to go home and see their families. They will just be sent over to unknown territory and fight. The third problem with this is that we have the strongest Air Force branch in the world. Why would we not send an airstrike and risk our soldiers' lives? The United States just recently finished a 24-hour airstrike in the Syria, Iraq region. It ended Sunday morning. The airstrike tar targeted Islamic militants in both Iraq and Syria. So the United States have already been began airstrikes on ISIS. So that means we have already been authorized to start airstrikes. Therefore, that means we do not have to send troops to fight on the ground because ISIS has troops on the ground that can kill our troops. If we send bombers, we can possibly get shot down by an RPG, but we cannot get shot down by mili other military jets. All these negatives add up to a conclusion. Sending troops to fight ISIS is a horrible idea.